Radhika Mukherjee. I'm a consultant endocrinologist at Manipal Hospitals in Kolkata. Uh, we'll be mainly talking about whether insulin is good or whether oral medicines is good for diabetes. Now, you're aware that there are two types of diabetes. One is called type 1 diabetes, where the body does not have any insulin on board. And there is a second one called type 2 diabetes, where you have got a lot of insulin inside your circulation, but that insulin is not working properly. So for type 1 diabetes, as the definition goes, that you do not have any insulin on board. So there is no treatment option for type 1 diabetes. So insulin, insulin and insulin is the only treatment option for type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, yes, type 2 diabetes, you have got lots of uh, insulin on board, but this insulin is either not secreted properly or the insulin is not working properly, insulin is not entering your cells of the body properly. So therefore, you need medication which will help to or which will help your own insulin to work or which will enhance your own insulin's action. Now, when type 2 diabetes develops, there is an odd factor which is created inside the body called insulin resistance. There are a lot of medications available nowadays which tend to address the insulin resistance and reduces the insulin resistance which helps your own insulin to work. So for type 2 diabetes, once you are diagnosed with diabetes, you start off with diet and exercise. Whether you are type 1, whether you are type 2, diet and exercise goes hand in hand for whatever your diagnosis is and that goes on till for the rest of the life. There is no really relief from diet and exercise. Lifestyle adjustment must and must be followed for management of diabetes. For type 2 diabetes, you get started on medication. Initially, we start on one medication and then if it is not uh, working, then many a times if your blood sugar control when diagnosis is made with a test called fasting and PP blood sugar, postprandial blood sugar that is after a meal and a test called glycosylated hemoglobin or HbA1c, Depending what your HbA1c is, your healthcare provider might provide you, might give, prescribe you combination medicine, that is medication which are complementary in action. They, they complement each other in their mode of action and they, and they reduce your HbA1c together in a very, very robust way. So that is possible as well. So, and once the medication are not working, once the medication are failing to work, that is not providing you adequate control for your HbA1c, in spite that you are compliant with diet and exercise, then healthcare providers think of starting you on insulin. Now, starting someone on insulin on diabetes is not a curse at all. Remember, insulin is a life-saving medication. Insulin was the la insulin was discovered in 1921, and it had completely revolutionized the way the diabetes is treated. Prior to that, people with diagnosis of diabetes used to really pass away with diagnosis of uh, diabetes because there was no treatment. So insulin had revolutionized treatment. So in taking insulin is not a curse at all insulin can be taken with a simple pen those can be adjusted very easily the modern pen devices are very very handy to take and there are some complementary medications as well which goes all along with insulin hope this was very helpful please stay uh, tuned in for more information on diabetes management